big salute to all of my veterans out here, man. Big shout out to all of my subscribers. Man, I appreciate each and every one of you. And like I tell you guys, I can't go a video without saying it. Big salute to DAT. Man, for you dispatchers out here, you owner operators, if you guys need access to the load board, go get your 30 day free trial with DAT. Click the description box below. Gain access to that load board. You guys will make a lot of money off that DAT load board, especially for you new truckers out here, you know, too. So real quick, I'm going to go to this whiteboard. I'm going to break down the numbers on how my mentee is making $2,500 a week, which she came from being a CNA, a certified nursing assistant. So big salute to my mentee out of Houston, Texas, who reached out to me about a year and a half ago. And about a year ago, she really executed. So now I want to basically break her numbers down on the whiteboard for you guys for motivation and inspiration purposes only, too. If she can do it, I know you guys can do it too. Anyone can do it. Being a CNA is like being a true RN, a true registered nurse, and being a registered nurse is like being a doctor. You know, it's a very demanding field, but being a CNA is not a very lucrative field. You know, so when she reached out to me, I'm gonna tell you guys, this is from her quotes. She says she is tired of wiping ass. And that came straight from her, no joke. And I said, I feel you, you know? So whatever you gotta do, you gotta execute out here. So anyway, I'm proud of my mentee. I'm gonna tell you guys why too. Well, you guys already should know why from going from a CNA to making $2,500 a week by yourself independently having that freedom and that flexibility. This is how she makes that 2,500. When she first started her business, she started to market and advertise her business through social media, through Facebook, through Instagram, word of mouth, going to truck stops, passing out business cards. Anyway, she came up too. She came up on her first two trucks and basically these two trucks are semi trucks. One is a flatbed, one is a step deck trailer. Both of these trucks came from one company. So basically a guy went out, started a trucking company with a flatbed trailer and a step deck trailer and gave my, ment my mentee the opportunity to dispatch both of those trucks, which she did an amazing job. So this is what they came to basically in their agreement. You could charge a flat fee if you want to dispatch or you could charge by a percentage, right? So let's just say if you guys want to charge a flat fee, that could be $500 a week, $1,000 a week. And that trucking company know that they're going to pay you $500 a week, $1,000 a week or whatever you guys came up with. Now, you can also charge a percentage too. So I'm going to be talking about flat rate in here and I'm going to be talking about, you know, charging your owner operators a percentage of the load. So anyway, she's getting $850 flat fee. So basically this is a flat rate every week. This, it's only one truck, uh, one, I mean, this is coming from a one company, two. So basically every week, she's going to make $850 per truck, which is going to put her at $1,700. She's getting a guaranteed $1,700 just off of these first two trucks, which is amazing. She could be making more money too, because these semi trucks are going to make at least $10,000 or more every week, right? So let's just say if she charged her owner or operator 8%, instead of charging a flat fee, if she charged them 8% and they made $10,000 a week, that'd be $800 a week. 
So she went ahead and just did a flat fee for $850, which is amazing. But let's just say, what if that truck made $13,000 or $15,000 this week? She could make more money by charging the percentage instead of doing the flat rate. So that's where it kind of gets to the point where, where what do you really want to charge? Do you want to charge a flat rate or do you want to charge a percentage, right? But anyway, it go, she's happy to see $1,700 a week because she wasn't seeing $1,700 a week being a CNA. So let's do truck number three. Truck number three is a hot shot truck where she charges a percentage. She charges 8% to dispatch this hot shot truck. This hot shot truck is making about five to six thousand dollars a week pretty easily. So she's gonna make about about four hundred dollars a week dispatching that hot shot truck at eight percent. She's not charging a flat fee for the hot shot truck or for the box truck which she's doing the same. She's doing 8% for the box truck and she's gonna make about $400 a week dispatching that box truck. So she got a flatbed trailer, she has a step deck trailer, she has a hot shot and she's dispatching for a box truck. So with her, she's also gaining that experience because sometimes it's difficult dispatching for a box truck or a hot shot, but it's pretty simple to dispatch for a semi because there's a bunch of loads on the load board, you know, for semi trucks versus box trucks or hot shots. So let's just say if she's going to make a total of 800 weekly plus that 1700 that's gonna give her that 2,500 that she's gonna make weekly, right? So with her, she's been pretty consistent at dispatching these four trucks right now. She's also on the hunt to acquiring more trucks, you know, more owner operators. But right now she's pretty much, I guess say is at that point where she's going to have to train and hire another dispatcher. The average dispatcher out here can only dispatch about, I'll say about five trucks, you know, five trucks. And once you get to about that fifth truck, you will start to feel like, you know, that overwhelming feeling. Dispatching is very demanding too, you know, so it's not going to be easy, but it's not also hard. You know, it's just all about getting into it and getting that rhythm going. She's on a good rhythm right now, you know, with these four trucks, which she's going to see about $2,500 a week. And she might could see a little bit more depending on if her hot shot in this box truck could gross more than five to $6,000. Sometimes those box trucks could gross more than five to 6000 and those hot shots can too. So by charging a percentage, I know she's going to see about $400 a week. You know, if there's a box truck out here, box truck owner operators, hot shots, man, if you guys are not grossing $5,000 a week, that's a problem. So the average box truck and hot shot will gross about $5,000 a week. If she's going to charge 8%, she's going to make a minimum of about $400, you know? So let me go back again to what my mentee said when she reached out to me. And like I say, this is her words in quotations. She's tired of wiping ass, you know? There's a lot of people out here in this world that's tired of your boss. You're tired of your coworkers. You're tired of just going to work, waking up every morning, going to that nine to five job, you know? So it's equivalent to the same feeling, man, my mentee had before she executed on starting her dispatching company. And now she's at four trucks, which is amazing. $2,500 a week is amazing in this world. That's gonna put her in that, you know, six figure category right there. 
coming from about $30,000 a year. So real quick breakdown for you guys out here. Hopefully it was kind of simple to understand, you know, I know sometimes the math could throw people off a little bit, but pretty simple. Just go back, rewatch this video. If you guys have any questions, hit me on my text message, 317-953-8943. Go visit my website, www.extraordinarymovement.com. Go get your 30-day free trial with DAT. Go sign up with TAVS, Trans and Financial Services. If you guys are looking for a factor in service, also, if you guys are freight brokers looking for a factor in service, go sign up with Axel Payments. Let me leave you guys with this. I'm gonna just write it right here for you. This is what my mentee did. She's CEO. Start making that 2,500 a week. CEO, commit, execute, and be obsessed. Everybody be great out there.